okay, part B in your practice test, you get into uh, some problems where once again you're actually figuring out some volumes and surface areas and things like that of shapes. And so the very first one, you are asked to find the volume of a cylinder. No big deal. The formula for the volume of a cylinder is pi r squared h. Um, and so in this case, the radius is from the center, of course, to the edge. So since the diameter is 18, that means the radius is 9. The height is the distance in between the two bases, or 28. So it's going to be pi times 9 squared times 28. And we are asked, in this case, to give all our answers to the nearest cubic centimeter. So that means I need to get rid of the pi. So we go pi times 9 squared times 28, which comes out to be 7,125 cubic, because it's volume, centimeters. So no big deal there, hopefully. Okay, next one. Now we need to find the volume of this trapezoidal prism. And they tell you that the height of that uh, trapezoid right there is 8 centimeters. So the formula for that is one-third the area of the base times the height. This base, as we mentioned before, is a trapezoid. That has a little bit of a tricky area formula, but it is one half base one plus base two times the height. And I'm using little b's and little h, so I'm talking about the measurements of the trapezoidal base, not of the, the height of the whole pyramid itself. So one half base one plus base two is 32. And then the height of that, they told us, was eight. So half of 8 is 4, and 4 times 32 is 128, and that would be square centimeters. So that's the area of the base. Now I need to go one third of that. This is to find the volume, to find our final answer. One third of 128 times the height of the entire uh, pyramid, which is 24. And so that's going to be... One thousand and twenty four cubic centimeters. Okay, next one. Let's find the volume of this cone. And once again, we know the formula for the volume of a cone is the same as for a uh, pyramid, one third times the area of the base times the height. The difference is this time the base is a circle, so the formula for its area is pi r squared. Uh, they don't tell us what the radius is, but since we know that the diameter is 30, the radius must be half of that, or 15. So the area of my base is going to be pi times 15 squared, or 225 pi. So now to come up with the volume of the entire cone, I need to go one third times 225 pi times the height of that cone. And so on a calculator, I'm going to go 225 pi times 10 and then divide by 3 since the 3 is on the bottom of the fraction. And they want the answer to the nearest uh, cubic centimeter. And so that's going to be 2,356 cubic centimeters. Okay, and that uh, concludes part B on your practice test. So uh, I'm going to stop this video and you can look at one for part C.